What the church would propose on that and every moral issue to the, to the general question here is something like this. We, we, would, we would propose that if, in fact, you would use your mind and think about the issue, whatever the issue is, you should be able to understand the reasons why we think X behavior is harmful or X behavior is healthy. Like, the church is begging us to think. And, unfortunately, much of the world is going, No! I don't want to think. I just want to act on instinct. I just want to act on impulse. I just want to do whatever I want to do. I want to be free from the restraint of my mind. Well, that's really human. I'm, I'm not an animal. I have an intellect. I have a will. I, have, I can reason. I can think. I can arrive at truth. Oftentimes, the truth is very challenging for us, right? That's why, as we go through, here's what's going to happen for many of us. I'll tell you this right now as we kind of are going through some of these early stages. There are two conversions that happen. And they're often decades apart. The first conversion is the conversion of the intellect. So many of us here are probably in a place where we're like, you know what? That makes sense. You know, whether it might be the church is teaching on sexuality, or it might be the church is teaching on whatever. We engage our mind and we go, I get that. Like, that's true. But my will is nowhere to be found. My will's sitting there going, nope, not going to do it. I know it's true, but I ain't willing to give into it yet. So St. Augustine is, is kind of the one who taught this, that there's uh, these two really kind of radical uh, conversions that take place in our life. My mind is converted. But, I mean, I believed all that the church taught for years. I mean, it, it was a long time before I actually came back to the church because my will was not interested at all in actually following what my mind told me was true. Does that make you guys, that resonate with any of us? Maybe? So, when the church is talking about moral issues, the church doesn't go, well, it says right here, catechism, you know, 622, or it's in Romans 715. That's the answer. No, it's in Romans 715 because if you use your mind, you'll be able to understand the reason by which God says that's dangerous to you. Therefore, like a good loving father, he says, don't do that. Just like a good parent says, don't put your hand on the stove, that's going to really hurt. Don't do that. And then the child's hand is burned, not because the mom is so ticked off that you disobeyed me that I'm going to burn your hand, but because the result of my putting my hand on a hot stove meant I burned my hand. And so in love, you say to me, your son, don't do that. So God says that often to us. But the answer to why is never because I said so. So know that when we're talking about, and we're going to get into this in some of the moral issues, um, know that when the church is talking about moral issues, the answer isn't simply because we, the church says it. The church says what she says because the argument says that's truth. 